Good morning students and welcome to our ICT 7 second quarter week 5 discussion. For this week's discussion, we will be talking about the computer system. And for our objectives, at the end of the lesson, the student will be able to A. Input data into a computer B. Access information using computer C. Reduce output or data using computer system and use basic functions of a triple W browser to locate information. So computers in a changing world. So years ago, we used calculator to compute. So it takes some time to solve huge amount of numbers. But today, we use computers to solve billions of math problems. Then, um, also years ago, we used landline telephone to call our friend. But today, we use mobile phones to call anywhere to anyone. Then, so, and also for years ago, we sent our mails through post office. So it takes several days to receive, but today, uh, I will send messages through the computer, so uh, it will only take a few seconds before they are being received through uh, the receiver. Then also, um, years ago, we go to the library to look for information in books, uh, but it's still um, usable these days. But um, usually these days, we search information on the internet. We use cell phones or even our computer. So computers and its types. A computer is an electronic machine that processes and stores information. So it takes in raw information using input devices, is stored in the memory until it is ready to be processed in the processing unit and sends out results using out devices. So computers are classified into four. So the four different types based on its processing power and size. So we have supercomputer, mainframe computer, microcomputer, and mini computer. So let's talk about uh, the types of computers. So first we have supercomputer. So it is the fastest and most powerful computer in terms of performance and data processing. So it uses its power to run one program at a time so it is used in research and exploration weather forecasting and nuclear weapon testing the next we have mainframe computer so it is not as powerful as the supercomputer but it is designed to run multiple programs current concurrently so it is commonly used in banks educational institution and insurance companies then we have mini computer so mini computer is also known as mid-range computer which fill the space between the mainframe and micro computer so it is smaller than supercomputer or mainframe computer but bigger and more powerful than the micro computer so they are generally used as mid-range servers so some of its uses are as data management device communication portals and processing control then we also have the microcomputer so these are the most widely used computer nowadays so examples of that are desktops laptops tablets and smartphones and it is the cheapest among the different classes of computers so these computers is designed for general usage such as entertainment education and work purposes so these are uh, the computer that uh, we can bring uh, anywhere or um, anywhere we want so now let's talk about the elements of computer system so a computer system is a collection of entities that are designed to receive, process, manage, and present information in a meaningful format. So it has three elements that will make a computer really useful. So these are the elements of a computer system. First we have hardware. 
software and people wear. So we will be talking about each elements. So first we have the hardware. So hardware refers to the physical, tangible computer equipment and devices which provides support for major functions such as input, process, output, and storage. So these are the components of computer hardware. Input device, output device, process device, and storage device. So let's talk about um, the input devices. So these are the input devices examples. So we have keyboard, mouse, scan, scanner, and microphone. So input devices are composed of a device that accepts data and instructions from the user or from another computer system. So first we have keyboard. So a computer keyboard is an input device used to enter characters and functions into the computer system by pressing buttons or keys. It is the primary device used to enter text. You can use uh, the keyboard by using your um, fingers. Then we have mouse. The mouse is another input device used to point and select objects on the computer monitor. So using the mouse and keyboard in combination allows the computer user substantial latitude in how to accomplish a wide variety of tasks. Then third, we have the scanner. So a scanner is used to capture a source document and converts printed data or images into an electronic data format that a computer can store or process as required. It is like an example, uh, like an um, camera, which uh, captures an image. So it is most likely um, with the scanner. Then also we have microphone. So microphone is used to input sound that is then is stored in a digital form. So it is used for various applications such as adding sound to a multimedia presentation or for mixing music, just like what I'm doing right now. I'm recording this or um, giving this uh, presentation to you or discussion to you uh, using my microphone. Then next, uh, let's talk about the output devices. So output devices is or are any piece of computer hardware that displays results after the computer has processed the input data that has been entered. So examples of output devices are monitor, printer, speaker, and projector. So projector, I, I mean monitor, is a mon is an electronic visual computer display that includes a screen circuitry and the case in which the circuitry is enclosed. So uh, the monitor will uh, uh, will show you the visual uh, computer display or displays any information uh, that can be seen on the monitor. So next, um, printer. So the printer is a device used to print text and pictures. So just like in the picture, so once you uh, print the file, uh, you have uh, it will uh, the printer will print the text and the pictures you printed. Then next we have the speaker. So a speaker or a computer speaker is an output hardware device that produces sounds. So once you turn it on the speaker, uh, once you uh, play a video or a music the speaker will produce sounds with that music you played. Then lastly, we have the projector. So a projector is an output device that projects an image onto a large surface such as a white screen or wall. So it is like a flashlight. So when you light a flashlight, you can uh, see the Uh, you can see in the dark, but uh, when you use projector, uh, what what is in the computer on your computer will um, projects onto any wall or any where you um, point the projector. So 
what will be the information on the computer will be shown on the projector when it projects onto the wall or anywhere you want it so next we have the process devices so these are the computer circuitry in the system unit so it plays an important role in processing operations it is used to process data using instructions from the program so we have the motherboard main board or system board the cpu or the central processing unit the ram and the random access memory and video card or gpu graphics processing unit so now let's talk about first the motherboard so uh, you can call it main board or even system board so it is the main circuit board of a computer and it contains all the circuits and components that run on the computer so next we have cpu or the central processing unit so the processor is the main or main brain or heart of the computer system so it performs all of the instructions and calculations that are needed and manages the flow of information through a computer then ram random access memory or ram is volatile meaning it holds data only when the power is on but when the power is off ram's contents are lost so that is um that is our ram then next we have the video card or the graphics processing unit which is also called a display card graphics card display adapter or graphics adapter is an expansion card which generates a feed of output images to a display device such as a computer monitor so uh, this vd card or graphics processing unit um, will improve your uh, the quality of images displayed on your computer so storage device so these are uh, devices which stores data and programs and these hold data information programs permanently so we have uh, magnetic storage optical storage and flash memory then for the magnetic storage we have hard disk drives or floppy disk then for optical storage we have blu-ray cd and dvd then for flash memory we have solid state drive memory card and usb flash drive so we will be talking of each in the next slide okay so we have the magnetic storage so first uh, we have the hard disk drive or HDD so it is also known as hard drive which is a magnetic storage device that is installed inside the computer so the hard drive is used as permanent storage for data so just like in the cell phone we have this um, hard disk drive also uh, which uh, where we can um, store our uh, data or files then for floppy disk um, this is a removable data storage magnetic medium that housed in a rigid plastic cartridge measuring 3.5 inches square and about 2 millimeters thick also called a 3.5 inch diskette it can store up 1.44 megabytes of data so unlike HDD um, the floppy disk has a a small amount of uh, that can store data so, but um, and this floppy disk is um, not usable now nowadays because um, we have a new uh, technologies next we have the optical storage so for uh, first is the blurry disk so this is uh, also called as Blu-ray which is a digital optical disc data storage format so it was designed to supersede the DVD format and is capable of storing several hours of video in high definition then we have compact disc also called optical disc which is a non-magnetic 
polished metal disc used to store digital information so that this is read by the CD-ROM then DVD which is digital versatile disc is an optical disc technology with a 4.7 gigabyte storage a capacity on a single sided sided one layer disc which is enough for a 133 minute movie then we have the flash memory so solid state drive is a storage medium that uses non-volatile memory then memory card is a solid state electronic flash memory that data storage device used with digital cameras handheld and tablet mobile computers and other electronics we also have this on our cell phones then the last one the USB flash drive is a plug and play portable storage device that uses flash memory and is lightweight enough to attach to a keychain so a USB drive can be used in place of floppy disk zip drive disk or CD okay now let's talk about the software so this term refers to the collection of electronic instructions that tells the computer what to do so it is a computer program that is installed in a in your computer so the diagram below shows the classification of software so we have the system software application software then under the system software are the operating system and the utility programs then we have the kinds of computer software so these are the system software and the application software so for system software these are uh, these coordinates the activities and functions of hardware and software so it controls the operations of computer hardware and provides an environment or platform for all the other types of software to work in so it is the most bas basic type of software in any computer system which is essential for other programs applications and the whole computer system to function so operating system so it is the program that after being initially loaded into computer by a boot program manages all the other programs in a computer so examples of this operating system are Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Ubuntu. You can see it on the pictures or the images. Then we also have the utility programs. So these are small, powerful programs with a limited capability. So they are usually operated by the user to maintain a smooth running of the computer system. Now let us talk about application software. So these are computer programs that performs a specific task. So application software examples are MS Office, Open Office, Media Players, MS Access, Educational Software, Media Development Software, Antivirus Software, and etc. So th these are the examples of a application software which performs a specific task. And for this time, let's talk about the peopleware. So peopleware, so the most important element of computer system is its users. So the following types of people interact with a computer system. So these are system analysts, system programmers, and system operators. So system analysts are people who design the operation and processing of the system then we have system programmers which are people who write codes and programs to implement the working of the system then also the system operators which are the people who operate the system and use it for different purposes also called the end users like students teachers and other professionals like us So that's all for this week's discussion and thank you for listening and may God bless you on your activity after this video presentation.